CVS Caremark said on Wednesday that it will stop selling cigarettes and other tobacco products by October 1st, becoming the first national pharmacy chain to do so. CVS President and CEO Larry Merlo said the move will more align the company with its purpose of helping people better their health. Tobacco products have no place in a setting where health care is delivered. And when we asked ourselves where we expect to be in the future as a health care company, it became clear that removing tobacco products from our stores is the right thing to do. The decision is being praised by President Barack Obama, a former smoker himself. In a statement, he said, Today's decision will help advance my administration's efforts to reduce tobacco-related deaths, cancer, and heart disease, as well as bring down health care costs, ultimately saving lives and protecting untold numbers of families from pain and heartbreak for years to come. However, Bonnie Herzog, Managing Director of Beverage, Tobacco and Convenience Store Research at Wells Fargo, called CVS's decision surprising as cigarettes drive foot traffic. Herzog said other retailers like convenience stores will benefit from CVS's decision, especially if more drug retailers stop selling tobacco products as well. In response to the news about CVS, Walgreen has already said it will continue to evaluate selling cigarettes. The American Lung Association says there are about 48 million adult smokers in the U.S. and 4.8 million adolescent smokers. Still, CVS said its decision should not have a big impact on its financial results. The company said it expects to lose about $2 billion in annual sales and $0.06 cents to $0.09 cents in profit per share this year. As smoking rates have been declining, CVS said it plans to launch a robust smoking cessation program this spring. At last check, shares of CVS were down about 1.6 percent at 65.06. In New York, I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.